right, where you at, Fiend? We're winning. I know, it's a shock. It really is. We're, we're surprised too. Uh, you want it to be a surprise? <laughs> <laughs> the happiest days are when gravel is laid. Isn't it beautiful? gone <laughs> it is supposed to rain in a little while so we are he is moving uh, some of the troughs to better ground um, yeah looks like I don't know y'all possibly another couple inches before it's all said and done in the next over the next five days or so sure hope not but uh, really thankful for the little bit of dry weather we did have it was just starting just starting to dry up on the top a little bit which seems to be the cycle around here lately <laughs> time to check the feeder again and make sure make sure that there's still some in it we really are loving our Sheffield feeder sorry it's so muddy but Hey, this is, this is where we live. All right, where you at, Fiend? Oh. Oh, we got a lot of feed. Here comes the rain. Y'all, hey little birdies. Look what I just realized. This happens every year and I don't, it just seems to happen overnight. My hellebore, helleborus, hellebore, also called Lenten Rose, is blooming. It's like this, this beautiful thing that happens at the end of winter every year. I love these plants. And this is a winter blooming camellia. And I thought it was done. See, some already popped out, but no. No, there's more. There's more coming. Oh, that makes me happy. It's like sunshine. On a cloudy day. <laughs> See what I did there? We have background music, y'all. So I have been a very bad YouTuber. I have not videoed anything all day. We got eight tenths of rain overnight. We fed cows this morning and a little bit more mud. Just a little bit. Um, I've just been hanging out, washing clothes, doing all the weekend kind of things little farting on my computer with some stuff from my business stuff um and now lo and behold it's time to eat supper so tonight tonight I'm doing something I've never done okay um neighbor Jim do you remember neighbor Jim he is our friend and our neighbor who always gives me us gives us vegetables in the summer from his vegetable garden because we haven't grown one in many many years that's uh that's just the way it is um so anyway he's very kind and he's always giving us stuff so yesterday now he doesn't know that we're like out of meat that's why i think this is really cool uh i say out of meat i've got like six pounds of meat left and we have now five like five-ish weeks before we'll have meat again so beef um so anyway he brought this big bag of, are you ready for it? Quail. This is quail, y'all. I'm pretty excited about it. So I asked, um, I asked my Instagram community and a lot of people said to fry it like chicken. Some people said to wrap it with bacon. I, I was wondering about that, like cooking it kind of like duck. Lawrence said, 
that that wouldn't be so good. I don't know why, but anyway, I'm sure somebody will disagree with me, but I'm gonna fry it like chicken. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have some quail tonight. It looks like really just good dark meat. So, dark meat, white meat, I don't know. Whatever, kind, it's quail meat, that's what it is. And that's what we're gonna do. So, I've gone from basically never cooking fried chicken to now cooking fried chicken and quail in the same week. We're winning. Oh, I feel like I should also say this. I've been skirting around the fact that my husband, Lawrence, the man in my videos, for those of you who ask, has not shaved in well over a week. It's the first time I've seen him with this much facial hair. Um, he had a beard when he was younger, but anyway, I don't, is that distracting? Is that distracting? We'll see if it is, I'll, uh, I'll re-record this later. Um, anyway, Austin said that she would like to see him, what he looks like with a beard. <laughs> and so he's made it like a game now where he said he's just going to let it grow until he is, um, what did he say in his words? He's boycotting the the wet weather or the dry weather however you want to look at it he said he's not going to shave until it dries up i kind of hope he's joking because that could be a while but anyway yeah that's what's happening there if you're wondering and y'all this is this is where my brain is today i've already had to rewash clothes that i let sit in the washing machine and I was just about to make tea starter. I started pouring what I thought was my tea. Um, but what I did was I boiled the water and forgot to put the tea bags in. But I turned it off. I think I turned it off. Or maybe somebody else turned it off. I really don't remember. And that's where we're at. Well, this is either going to work or it's not. I forgot. Um, that's all the oil that I have left in my house. So, uh, we'll see. Okay, y'all, we have quail. We have fried quail. We have what I'm calling quail grease gravy. Milk gravy. And uh, peas and corn. Some of y'all are probably going to think it's gross, but we like it. How was that? The quail was good. You think you've been cooking quail all your life for the first time? <laughs> Ever. Yeah. You couldn't have done no better. Yeah, thank you. That's the highest praise coming from you. It was good. It was good. And the gravy was really good too, wasn't it, girl? Mm-hmm. We just I'm eating it by itself. Yeah, <laughs> she's just eating it by itself. Alright, yay quail. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you know, neighbor Jim. Biscuits and stuff like that. I know. Sure be I was thinking about that too. We needed biscuits. Oh well, I mean we didn't need them. But they would have been good. <laughs> the sun is back <laughs> it's chilly this morning it's a lot cooler than it has been but I don't care I'm happy to see the Sun so happy to see the Sun there's actually only one day with like 20% chance of scattered showers and then every day else shows Sun here's hoping okay I gotta pick up sticks <laughs> Got to pick up some sticks and move them. Um, word on the street is that we uh, are going to get some more gravel, y'all. Some more gravel 
where the road and some some shell rock to put over here. So, good day, good days ahead. The the gravel on the road has been amazing, but it's already um, it's gone down, and it really could use another two to three loads, I think, to help it. So, we're going for it. What are you doing? I'm throwing into the net. Oh, oh, good job. <laughs> Just waiting on the gravel man with my husband. Grit, <laughs> grit sleeper nar. <laughs> That's what I'm calling him. Don't hide. <laughs> You want it to be a surprise? <laughs> you haven't shown your face in forever. People are wondering. I haven't heard from you. I already told him what you were doing. Surprise is out of the bag. Cat's out of the bag. Well, it will be on this video anyway. If I ever get this video out. Well, she can see. <laughs> Lawrence. <laughs> Austin's the one that really wanted him to do this, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I want to see what a mountain man looks like. You want to see what a mountain man looks like? <laughs> you watched yeah. Jeremiah Johnson last night. That's what I was yeah. thinking. We watched Jeremiah Johnson. And that's what he's going to look like if he lets it keep going. <laughs> we don't have any grizzlies around here, though, thankfully. Just some really bad dogs. Some really mean dogs, right? So mean. <laughs> put some safety pins and put a piece of cloth on there and see if we can hit it. Alright. <laughs> Get close enough. The happiest days are when gravel is laid. <laughs> Okay, so Lawrence is gonna spread this here because he can't get in here and turn around and spread it good. But he's gonna go up there and spread the rest on the road.
if you hit it in the road, that's fine. Right. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she beautiful? Yes, she sure is. <laughs> I said, yes, she sure is. Wait, yes, what? <laughs> well, we are heading to town. We have to do some things, like get groceries. Um, so Lawrence is going to spread that back there, and then Mr. Larry is going to bring three loads of shale rock to put over around the grain bins, which is going to be amazing. And um, yeah, I'll let Lawrence explain. He was talking about leveling it up to be able to put the augers in, I think, because it's just a mud pit right now. So we're getting stuff done. Yippee! Yay for rock. You got one for me, Wes? Thank you. He's got it spread and he's on the phone. <laughs> I had to go uh, to the doctor yesterday. <laughs> and when I got home, um, it was out of town. I'm fine. Uh, Austin said that, <laughs> what'd you say? Did you say your dad had been on the phone all day? <laughs> he does talk on the phone a lot more than I do, which that's fine. It's not really my, phone, Only after my somebody thing. just ended the call, da -da -da, or whatever his phone name. <laughs> I mean, it was literally constantly, constantly, one after another. Popular, popular dude. <laughs> These farmers have a lot to talk about, evidently. There's Mr. Turkey. Oh yeah, this is this is picking him up good. This this camera's really good. Oh, he's hiding. Of course, he's hiding behind that little. Wesley said it's a gobbler. Yeah. It's a gobbler. Good. Come out, gobbler. Yeah, you can see it. We can see it. I think you might need to work on your call a little bit. <laughs> is that how it goes? <clears throat> He looks very concerned. <laughs> <laughs> but you did a lot better than I could. I'm not even going to try. I, I stop at trying to call cows. I'm not even good at calling cows. I'm definitely not going to try to call a turkey. <laughs> He's definitely got it spread out. Yeah, he did good. Alrighty. And the rocks again. <laughs> Don't. Okay, I won't. <laughs>